I was always taught not to hit a man when he's down, but there are some instances when you have to break that rule and just finish the job. The Hertz EV rental train wreck in slow motion started way back in 2021, when the global car rental giant signalled its green virtue by announcing it was buying no less than 100,000 Teslas for its fleet. This would turn out to be one of the worst decisions in US corporate history. So let's remind ourselves of exactly why EVs are such a disaster for a car rental company. Repeat after me. They are way more expensive to purchase in the first place. They are more expensive to repair when they get damaged. They're more likely to get into accidents than regular cars due to stupid levels of torque and acceleration. They have catastrophic depreciation and woeful residual value when they are sold on. And most importantly, nobody wants them. And as we'll see in this video, the news just keeps getting worse for Hertz. Welcome back to MGuy, British engineer and lawyer, now Sydney-based YouTuber. Be sure to follow me on all the usual socials for more content, links in the description. And there's a code on screen, scan that with your phone if you want to sign up for the occasional MGuy email. It'd be great to have you on board. Earlier this year, Hertz announced it was selling a bunch of Teslas and cancelling another massive order with EV maker Polestar. Then, soon after, the CEO fell on his sword directly as a result. Links to all of these previous videos in the description. And now this train wreck in slow motion rumbles on. The green net zero monster has certainly taken a huge bite out of Hertz, that's for sure. Hertz loses another $200 million from its EVs. Hertz is increasing the number of EVs it will sell from its fleet and will take a loss on those sales. Car rental operator Hertz reported it lost another $200 million due to its EV gamble. In its first quarter earnings report, Hertz said it upsized its prior EV fleet drawdown plans by an additional 10,000 EVs, which led the company incurring a $195 million charge to vehicle depreciation for writing down the value of EVs held for sale. The company previously said it would sell off 20,000 EVs from its fleet, meaning it will now dispose of 30,000 EVs in its fleet through the end of 2024. Add today's charge to the $245 million write-down taken in Q4, and the company has now lost $440 million on its EV gambit. Hertz's EV fleet, which once stood at 60,000 EVs, will be cut down to half that at 30,000 EVs. A third of Hertz's EV fleet was from Tesla, and the rest coming from Polestar, Volvo and Chevrolet. And in typical corporate understatement, the new CEO tried to make it all sound like business as usual. Fleet and direct operating costs weighed on this quarter's performance. Hertz CEO Gil West said in a statement, We're tackling both issues, getting the right supply of vehicles at an acceptable capital cost while at the same time driving productivity up and operating costs down. It's nothing of the sort, of course. It's a disaster. Hertz is reeling from this, and it's a perfectly timed lesson in how green corporate virtue signalling is not just fluffy save-the-planet rhetoric, but hard business stupidity. Let me know in the comments what you think, but I can see this disaster taking not just more profits, but probably more scalps well into the future.